Are you planning to go into Shopify dropshipping and you are convinced about the payment method you can use? Now, it all depends on your audience. So if you are serving Nigeria audience, which I know you might not. But if you are serving Nigeria audience, you can use Paystake or Flutterwave. Now, if you are serving a US audience, Canada, UK, or other foreign country, here are three payment gateways that I use and you can use on your Shopify store. And the last one is my favorite. Now, the first one on my list is PayPal. What? I think PayPal is not allowed in Africa country or in Nigeria. Yes, it's not allowed, but there's a way to go about it. So I've already created a step-by-step -step video on how you can create a working PayPal account right here in Nigeria. And if you want to watch that video, just head over to YouTube and type PayPal account Sam Green Niger and you are going to see this video. Just click on it and watch it. Now, the reason why I like to use PayPal on my Shopify store is because it increased conversion because a lot of people trust PayPal. Now, the disadvantage or the cons of PayPal is that they can hold your money for 21 days, meaning that you don't have money to fulfill your customer orders so you have to wait for 21 days it's not 100 percent safe to use paper even though it's increased conversion now another bad side of paper is that it has high refund rate if you cannot deliver fast there you are going to get a lot of refund and it's going to affect your business now that is all i have to say about paper now the second payment gateway you can use is stripe but as we all know stripe is not supported in most country now i've also created a step-by-step -step video on how you can create a stripe account from anywhere in the world for you to watch that video just head over to youtube and type stripe account sam green niger now just like paper stripe also have their own cons that is their own bar side and one of the bar side of stripe is that they can suspend your account for no reason like everything is running well for no reason or they can even suspend your account just because of your customer mistake for example your customer use someone else card to purchase stuff on your website so when you are using stripe you have to keep this thing in mind another bad side of stripe is that it usually takes seven to ten days for you to get your payment so if you are running on a low budget or if you are running with low cash you have to use your money to fulfill your customer order or wait for 10 days for them to release your money and use the money to fulfill your customer order now the last payment processor i like to use on my shopify store is shopify payment now the reason why i like to use this is because since this payment gateway is owned by shopify it's kind of easy to integrate especially when you have uk company if you are setting it up with us company you might find it a little bit complicated to set up so i always advise to use uk company to set this up and shopify payments also increase conversion rate because people don't have to put their card details they can just pay with google pay or shopify pay so it's kind of give them other payment option to choose from now the reason why i also like shopify payments is because their withdrawal rate is two to five days so you can quickly get your payout and fulfill the customer order so you don't have to wait 10 days with stripe or wait 21 days with paper so those are the three payment methods you can use on your shopify store so let me know what you think in the comment section my name is sam green like and share this video if you find this helpful and don't forget to follow me for more videos like this